Welcome to introduction to Maya series. I am your instructor Rohan Page. In this video, we will learn the workflow of texturing a car. This will be the first part of this video tutorial. Our workflow will be first of all we will unwrap a car with the help of UV mapping. Then we will apply a proper material to the car geometry. With the help of Photoshop, we will create a proper texture for car and then we will apply that texture to our geometry. Let's start with the session. As you can see, I have a car geometry over here and if I will select it, you will see that this geometry is made up of a sing, uh, single polygon uh, surface. It is a single polygon surface. Uh, it is not a photorealistic model. It is a low resolution car model which can be used for gaming purpose. So what uh, is the process to unwrap such kind of geometry? Because it is uh, made up of a single uh, polygon mesh and we will have to unwrap it properly to create a proper game texture or you can say texture for a car. So let's start uh, the process of unwrapping it. If you assume it, assume this car as a box, like uh, we can see the bounding box, the area of this car. Just go to shading and there is an option called as bounding box. So uh, the lower one is the bounding box of wheels, whereas the upper bounding box is of a car. So assuming that the car is a box, so it has six sides that is front top left right and bottom back so that means we can use planar mapping for this uh, for the unwrapping of this car geometry so to bring back your geometry just press 5 on your keyboard now how to start with the planar mapping first of all we will make uh, the selections uh, for the side top and respective parts of the car and we will save the selection first and then we will load the selection and we'll use the mapping so what is the process of saving your selection in Maya so for example I'll just create a geometry for uh, I'll, I'll create this cube I'll increase this width, height, and depth lines. For example, I have selected this, these faces of polygons. Now I want to save this selection. To save the selection, you will have to go to create. There is an option called as sets. Set. Select this option. I'm sorry. Create set quick select set and rename it as L okay I want to load the selection which I have saved go to select there you will have an option called as quick select set and we have our L which is a saved selection click on that part and you will get your selections over here see right so this is the way to save the selection i have already made selections for the car uh, like i have selected a uh, side faces and saved it as car sides top and front bottom so let us see let me just load the selections to show you over here go to select quick select state and i have car bottom which will select the bottom area of my car create uh, select quick select set car top and we have the top selection in this view in the same way I have car sides which will select the left and right side of my car geometry I have car front and car back 
So in this way I have uh, selections from all the respective sides and I just need to select them and I will have to apply the respective mapping. But when we will apply a, a map we will need UV editor to place the uh, UVs properly to stitch them or to relax them. So there are two different ways to open UV editor. The first way is go to window and select UV editor. It is going to open a flyout window of a UV editor where you may need to resize it and then you can select the geometry and you will see the UV of respective geometry. So it may become like uh, all the time moving it and just checking it can be time taking. So it is a better way to use second uh, you know, option. And what is that? Go to panel, layout, two pans stacked. It will create two panels stacked upon each other like this. I'll move to bottom view with the help of spacebar. Press spacebar to maximize this bottom view. Go to panel, choose panel menu and there you will have all types of windows and I want uh, this view to be changed into UV editor. Right. So simply with the help of spacebar, we, I can jump from perspective to UV editor or else I can see both the uh, uh, views at a time. So let's start with the unwrapping. Starting with the top portion first, I'll go to select, quick select set car top. It will save all, uh, it will select all the top faces. Go to UV, planar mapping option box. I would like to project it from Y axis because these faces are facing towards positive Y axis. So I'll just project it. After projection, move to UV editor, press control right click on uh, to change the face selection to UV selection, press W on your keyboard and move it. We will resize it as soon as we will map all the faces. Go to select, quick select set, car bottom, Go to UV, planar mapping, Y axis, project, control, right click to convert the selection to UV and move it. Next part is car sides. I'll go to select, quick select set, car sides. It will select left and right side at a time. This side is facing towards positive x-axis while this is facing towards negative y uh, x-axis. Sorry, positive x and negative x, uh, both sides are facing towards. So go to UV, linear mapping, change the projection axis to x, project, control right click to UV. Now the thing is, I have projected a map on left and right side at a time. So I'm getting only one UV map over here. So basically there are two maps which are separate but lying on uh, top of each other. So what we can do is we need to separate it. So convert, go to the uh, UV selection mode with the help of right click on your mouse. With the help of single click, select one UV. Do not select by dragging it because it is going to select uh, all the UVs. So just single click and select it. Now right click and choose select shell option. It is going to select the respective shell of that selected UV. Move it. So here we have two sides of my car. Now 
go to select quick select set car front it is facing towards z-axis to use planar map in z-axis or to use planar mapping there is a shortcut hold shift on your keyboard right click mapping planar z Control right click convert selection to UV. Go to select quick select set car back. Shift right click mapping planar map Z. Control right click to UV. we have mapped top bottom left right side front back side now the remaining portion is of these front and back lights go to select quick select set car front lights these are facing towards z axis so shift right click mapping planar map in z axis select quick select car back sorry back lights in z axis okay now we have almost unwrapped each part basically we have just mapped it we need to stitch it and make it a proper uh, layout of this UV and the remaining UVs are nothing but the side wings of the car so I'll just keep it aside later on we can place it okay so basically this is our uh, mapped UVs in the Z axis but as you know that uh, we have bottom part which is not facing towards y axis it is facing towards negative y we have one left side of the car which is facing towards negative uh, x uh, axis and there is a back which is facing towards negative z axis but all these faces or the part of the geometry got mapped in positive axis which is going to flip the uvs so and uh, in a wrong direction you can say we have mapped a uh, few of the part in a wrong direction and how to find out that which are uh, which part of the car is mapped or got flipped in the wrong direction to do so you just need to turn on this option called as toggle shaded uv display and it will turn on the shaded mode of this uv right here you can see the color a red color and there is a blue color so UVs which are displayed in a red color has got mapped in uh, you know wrong axis. we cannot say wrong axis but this is the back portion which is facing towards negative Z but we have mapped in positive Z so it is uh, going to show you in a red color bottom part uh, faces towards the negative Y but we have mapped in a positive Y same goes with the back lights and the right side of the car so first of all we need to flip them to flip you just need to select all the UVs you can flip from here you can flip horizontally you can flip vertically also and these are named as flip in U direction flip in V direction I'll just flip it in U direction and it will change to blue color select it flip it to U this one we need to flip in V right so the time is to check whether uh, the size uh, of the UV map is correct or not because if I keep the UVs like this only it may give me a problem while texture so how to find it first of all we will need to uh, apply 
a checker texture pattern numbered checker texture pattern which is going which will uh, show me that whether my uv's are properly stretched or relaxed or not to do so you can find the checker map from internet uh, let's find it i'll just open chrome over here images and I will type in checker for texturing and here you will get the numbered checker pattern which we will to apply I'll just save this image Now go back to Maya. First of all, I'll apply a new material, assign new material, and I will apply Fong. Right click, go to Material Attributes. To apply that image, first of all, you will need to click on the mapping button in front of color. Click on the file, browse it and choose your respective texture. Press 6 on your keyboard so that texture will get displayed and you can see how much uh, distortion is there in this particular texture. Which means we have only mapped our UVs but we have not properly relaxed them, we haven't even uh, you know, created a proper UV layout which is going to produce me a proper UV coordinates for the car where I can place a texture properly. And you can see how uh, the texture is getting stretched. So it's time for creating a proper UV layout. I'll go back to my UV editor. So if you don't want to see this image in UV editor, you can simply click on this particular option over here which is going to help you to display image on or off. Starting with the top portion, press control space bar for this export mode. This is the top portion and this is our front side of the car, this is our back side of the car. If you are not understanding it, which is the front or which is the back, you can simply go to, you can simply select the UVs and go to your view and it, you, you, you will get to know that, okay, this is the back part of my car. So I'll select it. These two options are going to help you to rotate the selected UV in clockwise and anti-clockwise direction. And they rotate the selected UV shell in 45 degree angle. So I'll rotate it in clockwise direction 45, 45. I have rotated it in 90 degree angle. Now to place them properly, either you can unfold them or you can scale the UVs manually. So I'll just select a little bit part of uh, my car top UVs. To unfold them, you can hold shift on your keyboard, right click, unfold, there is an option box. And if you are using this option in Maya 2016, and uh, the first time when you will use it, the method by default will be unfold 3D. If I'm And this is introduced in this version. If I use this option and say apply, it is going to unwrap each and everything and lay out it. Uh, for you uh, automatically which is going to not uh, create a proper UVs so I would not recommend you if you are a beginner to not use it uh, after uh, learning the advanced technique you can definitely use this option but right now we are going to use legacy legacy means uh, the way of unfolding method according to the earlier version of Maya so I'll use legacy and apply it so it will unfold, uh, it will relax that selected part, 
okay so just select rest of the part of the top portion hold shift on your keyboard and unfold it right so now you can see on the top portion the mapping of my checker pattern is really good numbers are not getting stretched they are evenly properly spaced so this is the way uh, how you can relax the uvs and get your projection proper now i'll just select the top portion uv as you know that we need to place whatever uvs for uv coordinate we create it has to be placed within this zero to one area and as soon as you will start scaling it the texture will get larger over here it is nothing but the repeat uv option it works as like a repeat uv option now it is time for side views I'm not going to use unfold over here because it will change in the direction like this. So there's not a proper unfold. And just you, I'll, I'll be using a scale option. See, I am scaling in UV editor simultaneously. I am observing it in perspective. As you know, that this is squashed, it is squashing my texture. So I'll just scale it till I get a proper scale, or you can say proper size of the texture. Okay, this, this won't look a distorted one. Now I'll just move it. This is this portion has to be placed over here. You can scale it horizontally. Scale it to match according to the top portion. See now the texture is completely matching to the top. Uh, the size has to be matched. Okay. Now I'll just select the shape. Now move it and place it over here. Now, as you know, we have mapped them. Uh, at the time of projection, we have selected separately, which means if uh, my edges has got separated, or you can say divided from here, right? In geometry, these UVs from where I have applied a cut, you can see whatever selection I'm doing over here. My UVs, top and side UVs, got uh, cut from this area. So this edge has got divided into two edges. You can observe in UV. I'm selecting one edge over here, and two edges are getting selected in this UV editor, which means these are the seam lines from where I have, uh, you know, separated the side and the top, and we can merge those uvs which has got splitted or which has got uh, divided into two or you can say we can we can merge the uvs of the same line right so because see if i select one uv over here it is going to show me two uvs that is the single uv which has got divided into two because of the mapping so just select those uvs uvs do not work as a vertices you can merge any vertex but uvs only those uvs will get much which has got separated during the mapping so go to polygon and there is an option called as merge uv go to its option box make sure your threshold value is uh, one so that whatever the distance between the two uvs those uvs will get merged Perform the same thing for other side of my car. Okay, 
do not just merge each and every UV because the distance between these UV is quite a lot. So it may create a uh, stretching of the texture. Okay, so I have stitched the sides uh, with my front, uh, sorry, with my top uh, UV. Now it is time for front part of my car to get attached with the top portion. So I'll just rotate it in clockwise direction. Scale it a little bit. Before merging, we can try our hand with the unfold option. Unfold. Unfold. Scale it to match uh, where we can fit this UVs properly. Okay. Now select those identical UVs. As I said that UVs do not work as vertices. You can randomly select the UVs like this. It is going to only merge those identical UVs. So polygon merge UVs. Right. I just select it because we need to scale it down. As soon as I'm scaling it down, my texture is getting larger, right? So what you can do, rather than, uh, you know, the scaling the UVs in UV editor is affecting my texture uh, scale. So what we can do is, you can simply go to material attribute, go to its color, there you can find this input connection. We have mapped uh, this checker pattern. You have a place 2D texture tab over here, as we have, as the file is the 2D texture. There we get the option of repeat UV and we're going to repeat this horizontally and vertically for uh, three times. It is sufficient enough for me to understand the mapping. Okay. Or else you can increase it if you want to five times. Right. So now you can see the front which we have attached right now. The texture is properly, you know, getting fit. The texture is proper. Uh, it is matching with the scale also. Here it, it is also, well, the texture size is the same. The texture is not getting stretched at all. Now it is time for connecting the back portion of the car. Rotate it in anti-clockwise direction, scale it, unfold, Select those UVs, polygon, merge UVs, right, and the UVs at the back side also got properly projected now. Now it is time for the lights and the bottom part. The bottom part is not going to get connected with anyone, so it is a separate part. So just unfold it for proper scale. Select the shell, scale it down, flip it, sorry, rotate it. I'll place it at this area. You can see the scale is matching over here properly. So this is our bottom area. Now remaining part is of lights. So I'll just flip these lights horizontally in your direction, unwrap them, sorry, unfold them.
place it properly first of all I'll just rotate them Okay, now select all the lights, just scale it down. Okay, I have scaled it to match the little bit size, uh, resemble the size of the texture. Now uh, select these side winds. <coughs> these are this is the part over here. These are the side winds. Right, so over here we have unwrapped the UVs properly. We have uh, placed it within the 0 to 1. The layout is perfect. And uh, one thing you need to do is just check it out whether there is any. Uh, many times it can happen that UV may and uh, you know the border edges may overlap on top of each other. So I'll just move them. Okay, so many times it happens that the bottom area may get overlapped.
okay so i have uh, removed the overlapping at the bottom part so here i have unwrapped my car uh, body and now it is time to unwrap my tire portion right so as you can see that there are four tires you need not to unwrap all four i'll just go to modify center pivot first of all mesh separate them i will delete all the four tires i'll unwrap one and then later on we'll duplicate it press ctrl one to isolate select so it is going to show you only the selection though the part is cylindrical you can use cylindrical mapping or you can use planar mapping and then stitch it all so i will prefer planar mapping I'll just select this portion first. Shift right click, planar map it from X axis. Control right click and convert the selection to UV. Place it aside. Select the half portion. I'll go to side view and select the half portion and remove the selection of that cap because it has got selected and press control to deselect it. I'll map it in planar map y axis. Control right click to convert the selection. And now select the remaining part and apply planar mapping in x-axis sorry y-axis now first of all flip it in u direction now we need to unfold them just select shift right click unfold unfold right we need to attach them so first of all just select any of the UV from here so that you will get the identical UV okay so we need to rotate it clockwise I'll simply select these UVs go to polygon merge UV and now <clears throat> select them first of all unfold it so unfolding is changing the shape uh, not so good what I'll do is select these top UVs. There is an option for this, like aligning straight top, left, right. So I'll align it first of all in <clears throat> V value. So it is going to make it selected UV in a straight alignment. I'll select this border edges. Select that border area, uh, sorry, UVs and align them. Scale it down. Mm -hmm. 
go to material attribute I will apply file texture the same file texture and I'll repeat the texture five times so here we have we have mapped our tiles also so I'll just press ctrl 1 to bring back all my hidden selections so I'll just duplicate this ctrl D The scale I'll press minus one so that it will flip my geometry. So here we have unwrapped our car with the help of mappings. So uh, we have literally selected all the selection. Uh, we have uh, saved our selections first, and then we have uh, you know loaded the selection one by one, like top, side, bottom, front, back, and mapped them in uh, respective axes with the help of planar mapping. We have then uh, unwrapped our tires also with the help of planar mapping and mapped the layout. We have created the UV coordinates for the whole car, including the tire. So the in next part, we will see how we can, you know, bring those UV into Photoshop and how we can create a proper texture for this car. So let us see what we have learned in this video. What we learned? We have seen how to create a quick select set which is used to save and load the selections. We have seen how to use planar mapping to unwrap car geometry. And also we have used the same planar mapping technique to unwrap our tiles. So for any further query, you can follow me on Facebook you can write me an email on rohan.pagianimator at gmail.com. You can follow my classroom, Google Classroom, with the code 4H47DWO. Or else you can subscribe to my channel, Rohan Page, on YouTube. Thank you.